Pinktober. The Hard Rock Cafe will be the center stage for the Pink Party in hopes of raising awareness for breast cancer. And as you're about to find out, this celebration brings in some pretty and pink big names. The big names we're talking about, Pinktober, are the editor-in-chief of DC Modern Luxury, Karen Summershallet, and the founder and chief collaborator of the Hollister Project, Justin Fishkin. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks for having us. A pink party. What the heck does this mean? A pink party, well, well, we all know that it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you are wearing your pink, I must point out. That's very good. I'm glad you know Quite dapper. <laughs> his, his mama would be proud. His no doubt she'd be watching. proud. Um, but uh, Hard Rock is celebrating 10 years of supporting breast cancer research, and uh, Melissa Etheridge has been part of that for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Hard Rock's hosting events all over the country, and um, she's coming down for a symposium and a performance uh, of her song, I Run For Life. As, as many of you may know, we, she's, a, she's a breast cancer survivor. Yeah, she went through that years ago, and she's been a real supporter ever since yep. then. So it's great to land such a big name, and coming to D.C. To get all this together is not a small task. No, and I had a, a great occasion to sit down with Justin and his chief collaborator um, at, with Hard Rock Cafe. And one of the amazing things that, uh, that Annie Bolero, who works with Hard Rock Cafe, mm -hmm. said was that we've now realized that Washington is the center. It's the center of politics, even fi finance. Um, anything we do in Manhattan, we ha must do in D.C. So they're actually launching this in Times Square, turning all of Times Square pink, jumping over to JFK, riding on a pink plane to National, getting off, getting on a pink biodiesel bus, getting over to the Hard Rock Cafe. The whole intention is to say the New York to D.C. Um, moment, uh -huh. you know, we are as important as they are. And just catching that attention and raising awareness. So how, how did they land a pink plane, a pink bus, a pink da 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 This cost them money here. Yeah, well, you know, it, it, we're, it, it's a new time for, for change, and, and we're finding that people, uh, regardless of, of where they exist with their, 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 their day job, uh, corporate or not-for-profit or NGOs, uh, want to be involved and engaged um, about the issues and spoken to in an honest manner. And, and, and I'm of the belief that, that government and, and decisions and solutions can be found out, out, outside of government. Um, and so uh, a lot of corporations want to come to the table to help and, and have donated um, goods in kind to be a part of the event. And uh, while it's not a secret that, that people want access to what I call the Facebook generation, mm -hmm. um, it's a bit lesser known that that generation is uh, ready to be engaged and, and wants to talk about the issues. So basically, M Melissa Etheridge takes her pink transportation here to D.C., and everyone's going to meet up at the Hard Rock Cafe, and then what happens? Well, in addition to Melissa Etheridge, another big name for those who follow beauty is Evelyn Lauder. Oh, She's yes. Evelyn Lauder. Lauder's mm -hmm. daughter-in-law, and, um, and really has taken the Breast Cancer Research Fund, which is what she uh, established, and, and just absolutely has paved paths that didn't exist for breast cancer research in the past. And she is moderating the discussion, leading it. And I think it's a fantastic way of kind of bridging what Justin called the Facebook generation with really, frankly, my parents' generation, um, and maybe even a little older, to say, look, we are all concentrating on making change now. We're all concentrating on finding solutions. What are hip, cool ways that appeal to all of us that can come that we can come together and hence to basically hard rock. get this word out? To get the word out, to be problem solving. I, I understand the symposium and panel is really there's a lot of scientists and doctors engaged in talking about the research what's to come. This is an effort to fundraise money. This is an effort to say how do we how do we reach you, mm -hmm. um, women of our age who need to be moved to, to action ourselves, um, to, to detect and prevent as opposed to simply treat. So I, I think that this is a really great frisson of of the types of people who are coming together. Uh, to raise awareness, and, and what's great about Holster Project and Justin is this is actually the second time they've done this, and they have many, many more things to come in the Washington, D.C. area to not just breast cancer um, research at all, but actually um, Africa and um, world hunger and, and various other causes. That and Karen, you engaging. touched on before that you're basically putting two generations together in the Absolutely. same room. Justin, right. what do you think, the representing the younger generation, not that you're not from the younger generation, I mean. you both are, but I'll give you the question. <laughs> What do you think you can learn from that generation, and they need to learn from you when you're discussing these array of topics? Well, I have, you know, personally, I have a lot to learn from everybody. Um, <laughs> so I think it's about getting people who have been involved with these issues for, for many years and made careers out of it to, to let us know what they've learned and, and give us sort of the best practice and, and state of the art on, on progress that's being, being made today. Uh, on the flip side, 
uh, as I mentioned before, the young generation, uh, especially those who have come to town as part of this administration, is, is ready to uh, be engaged and, and use what we've learned um, to make a call to action, to get the word out to those our age that, that want to be more involved, um, that, that now's the time and this is how you can do it. Through our event series, uh, the Holster Project's event series called Changemakers Live, what we're trying to do is institutionalize a stage in Washington where well-known artists can come to town in support of an issue that they care about mm -hmm. and surround them with a small group of young people that are directly affecting that issue every day, whether, you know, like I said, policymakers, NGOs, activists. So cameras will be following you? Cameras will be at the events. Okay. The artists will come to speak about the issue they care about and perform uh, cause-relevant material. And then that recording of that material and, and the engagement of those people there, uh, when it is sold or licensed after the fact, will raise money for the issue they're discussing. Uh, so eventually perpetuity. people will be able to see this in some way, shape, or form. What's your goal on that? Um, our goal is that, that, that these events, these moments in time, uh, become sort of the call to action so people will watch these and say there are young people who are actually making change, getting involved, and, and I can do the same. Is it something we'll be able to see on a so, network oh. or, yeah, well, or is this more instance, internet based? Imagine people, you know, will come to the event, that's the first opportunity, particularly mm -hmm. in Washington. Then, you know, you may go to Change Makers Live to download or it, I understand you're working on distribution as well. So maybe a network one day, but at this point, certainly download. Um, but then uh, even more kind of in perpetuity, you think about storytellers that VH1 does mm -hmm. or um, these kinds of shows where the artists actually get to speak while they're performing. As the voice of the people. Right. And in this case, the, the voice of the people actually speaks back, you know, because it's a panel and then you have um, audience members who talk as well. So it, I think that um, Justin is a phenomenal wonk to a certain extent. <laughs> this is, um, as, as intellectual as this is, it's also going to be a heck of a lot of fun. It sounds like it will be a lot of fun. Justin, Karen, thanks for coming on Thank and talking you. about it. And when will Melissa actually get here? She's coming down from New York on the 29th on Tuesday and then the events the, the next day. All right. Have fun. Thanks, guys.